Y'all looking good. You're looking well. Well, I'm not going to keep you too long. I'm Dr. Williams, the proud principal of Springbrook High School. Thank you, Ms. Katz, for inviting me. Uh, the class of 2022 is now in full impact. Let's uh, meet yourselves and let's make some noise about the excitement. We are now. Hey, Natalie, senior. Y'all got to make some noise, y'all. All right, seniors. Y'all are seniors. Woo, seniors. Yes, and with that in mind, um, it is countdown time. Yes, right now starts, well, four years ago started, three years ago started, but even right now, this day officially starts the day that you are going to be doing a lot of things that get you closer to walking across stage. So I want you to listen to the wealth of information that the team here is going to provide for you from Mrs. Thompson, from Mr. Aldridge, from Mrs. Patterson, from Mr. Dan Fair, and others. I hope I didn't leave it out, have a wealth of information that they're going to share with you um, so that you can cross the finish line um, and, and, and graduate and pursue your destiny and get on to the next chapter of your life. Your senior year can be a stressful year. It could be a memorable year, but it's also an exciting year. But one thing I know about seniors, you got to plan for a lot of things. So today you want to start planning and jotting down in your notebook the dates, some very important dates you're going to hear, some very important tasks that you need to be a part of, right? So, you know, this is your year to take care of business um, because you are getting closer and closer to true adulthood and you're going to be making some, some monumental decisions. And then the last thing I would just say to you that we realized that we're going to be coming back post pandemic uh, or still somewhat in a pandemic, I guess, uh, to in person learning in the fall. There could be some anxiety um, on top of regular senior year kinds of things and, you know, stress and all that. Please make sure you reach out to your counselors. They, they are available throughout the summer or another trusted adult. If you're on here listening, I need you to stay engaged, talk to your senior. Um, you start noticing some things that are you know, unusual, out of character. Um, please reach out to us so that we can put our arms around and work together to make sure that we have a great year. So I expect a lot of great school spirit. I expect you guys to be involved. I expect you to make this year you know, the best year in the life of Springbrook High School. And I look forward to serving as your proud principal. And I'm excited about what's going to happen in your future this year. So without further ado, I turn it over to Ms. Thompson and her team. You guys have a marvelous time today. And I wish you truly all the best. Ms. Thompson. Yes, welcome. And I'm going to share my screen right now to show you some of what we're going to do. Welcome, guys. Okay, thank you, Dr. Williams. So, okay, so first of all, I want to go and talk a little about what we're going to talk about today. So we're going to talk, Ms. Dr. Williams welcomed you. Um, we're going to see Mr. Allred. He's going to talk about senior interviews, college recommendations. Then we're going to see Ms. Patterson, who's going to be talking about college and career and summer programs that are available for you. Then we should have some information on your senior portraits, okay, and how to sign up for those. Um, we also have a little video on what to look for in terms of getting your cap and gowns and paying the senior dues. Um, Mr. Fair is here to talk to you about the athletics, how that will be different than what we've had this year. And Ms. Um, Shapiro will talk to you about the SSL hours that you need to have for graduations. And last but not least, your class president, Naomi, and Ms. Guest will come and talk to you about what we have planned for this uh, senior year. All right, well, next. Can I, I'm sorry, can I express my gratitude to Mrs. Guest? for all her support with the um, class. And can you guys um, unmute yourselves and give Mrs. Guest a round of applause for all her hard work and supporting you? Come on, can y'all do that for me, please? Woo! Thank you, Ms. Thank Guest. You. Thank you, Ms. Thank Guest, you, Ms. for all your work and uh, your, your support of the class. All right, so I want to go ahead and tell you the new administrative team for next year. So we will have, of course, Dr. Williams be our proud principal, Ms. Charlie will be the ninth grade administrator, Mr. Jim will be the 10th grade administrator, Dr. Gomes will move to the 11th grade, and I will be the 12th grade administrator. And we have um, a new business manager, Ms. Katz. Okay, this was actually her first year at Springbrook. 
Okay, so how I started off last year was, I should say last year, in the beginning of um, our town hall meeting, we talked about the class of 2022. And I wanted to know how powerful that number 22 is. Okay, it's considered one of the most powerful numbers and able to turn dreams and desires into reality. We talked a little bit about this in the beginning of the year. And I hope some of those dreams and realities are yours, especially come senior year with all those college applications going out, with all those um, maybe, you know, employment things, uh, job applications. So the number 22 is number about precision and balance. Okay, so we want to make sure we have a balanced um, senior year. Remember, Dr. Williams said it's going to be a big change for us, especially returning from the pandemic. Okay, so we want to make sure that you're going to have, you're going to, have to do applications, you're going to have to go ahead and, and maybe find a job, and it's going to be a, like a very life balance for it. So it's going to be a lot on you. And remember, we have the counselors to help you, you have teachers, we have a wonderful staff here. And remember, Springbrook is a special place for everyone. Okay, it is in full capacity that when we look at the um, number 22, it's a master builder, which means it provides power to achieve impossible things. And you guys have achieved the possible things. You have spent a year and a half in the virtual classroom. Now you're you're going to be back in the um, brick and mortar, which is so exciting. So you can turn your dreams and desires into reality by doing your best each and every day. So now I'd like to introduce um, Mr. Allridge, who's going to talk to you about okay, the college and career and what's expected for each one of those. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Thompson. Ms. Thompson, if you don't mind, can you click on the, the present button on top so it can take up, oh, a, yeah, yeah, sure. take over the full screen? Yes. Okay. And you can put okay, down, you can go. put back my handsome face to the previous screen. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Good afternoon, juniors. And I'm going to call you all seniors, I guess, a after today, because um, you guys will be promoted to the next grade level and you'll start receiving information as it relates to everyone graduating in 2022. That is such a powerful number. And I want to echo that with Ms. Thompson. And also, I want you all to understand that we are meeting with seniors, which you are right now. As early as now, we have we sent out a massive email and we sent out a letter to your parents to sign up for our summer meetings. And we're gonna talk a little bit about what happens during these summer meetings. But before we go there, I wanna make sure that you guys are fully aware of your school counselor because we had a few changes this school year. I wanna make sure everyone knows who's your school counselor. I am the head of counseling, I'm Mr. Orridge. You can, you can switch the slides, Ms. Uh, Ms. Thompson. All right, we have Ms. Tannenbaum, who will be in charge of the beginning part of the alphabet, A through C-A-R. Ms. Mackle, uh, you know, usually C-A-R to about, uh, to the letter E or G. You have Mr. Olacheski. You have Ms. Greger, Ms. Promawat. Uh, you have Ms. Torres, and you have Ms. Molina. Anytime you want to identify who's your counselor, if you go into your Synergy account and uh, pull up your name, you should see this, uh, the, the assigned counselor that's assigned to you for next year. So why is this important that you know your counselor? This summer, we are working on a few things. One of the main things we're working on is meeting with you directly and your parents to discuss any post-secondary planning, credits, anything that you're going to need in terms of graduating for 2022. All right. Also, we are writing letters of recommendations. And late in this presentation, Ms. Tan Ms. Uh, Patterson is going to talk a lot about the uh, brag sheet and how important it is that you guys are in Naviance and completing that brag sheet. So it is very important that you guys connect with your counselor this summer, but more importantly, that you all are completing that brag sheet and you guys have all your class you need for graduating for next year. In terms of this summer, the purpose of the senior summer meeting, these meetings are very important on so many levels. We will review your individual transcripts just to make sure you have all of your graduation requirements. There are times on these meetings where we may pull up things that you had no clue about. Or for example, if you have not done a, a health credit yet, or you have not fulfilled your PE credit, we will bring those things to light during the meeting. We'll also check on your, your schedule for next year just to make sure you're in the right classes for next year, all right? We will talk about summer school, if that's applicable. You know, some students already signed up for summer school already. We will talk about SSL hours. We will talk about the college application process. So we will tell you about the important forms you need to complete 
So when you start applying to colleges as early as August, you'll know how to go about that process. We will also talk about all the application or college application support we have at Springbrook. So we'll definitely bring up Ms. Patterson's name. We'll talk about some of the college, the virtual college tours. We'll talk about how to research certain schools. We'll also talk about Naviance. We'll talk about the ACT, SAT. We'll talk about the rec, uh, you know, any recommendations if you want to improve your scores with Khan Academy. We'll talk about FAFSA. So we talk about so many different things, but it's important that you personally uh, sign up and make sure that you make that appointment with your counselor. So the next question, Ms. Dorris, how do I make an appointment with my counselor? I'm so excited. Ms. Ms. Patterson, next screen, please. There are two ways of making this appointment. And, uh, and I'll, be, I'll be quite honest, we had about 95 students who already, already made the appointment, already met with their counselor. Ms. Thompson, can you do the next slide? So another, a way that you guys can make the appointment is by clicking on the bit.ly. There was a bit.ly that was shared with you. Here we go. If you guys can take a quick snapshot or you can put the QR code on the screen right now, you can automatically make that appointment today. So you'll click on that QR code and then it will take you to a Google form and then click on the link next to your counselor. And once you do that, it will take you to another link, which would be their calendar link. So you can be on their calendar. The expectations is that you're meeting with your counselor, with your parents, because we want parents to be part of that process. So please take this information down. You can just use a QR code or you can simply just use that bit.ly on the bottom to make that appointment. Next screen, Ms. Thompson, sorry. Awesome, so quickly, when you click on that QR code, it will take you to the screen right here. Once you get on the screen, you'll click on your assigned counselor. You notice all the links there, click on the link. It will take you right to make that appointment. And once you make that appointment, we are good to go. I cannot stress the importance of sitting down with this meeting because we could kind of review so many different things, but more importantly that everyone is utilizing the Springbook website as a resource for you all for your senior year. We update this website literally bi-weekly or sometimes weekly with new information. So please, anytime you have any questions, go to the Springbook website, click on counseling on the very top. This is what it looks like. Um, and if you go to the top right-hand corner, it says college and careers, you will go to this link here that will have all of the resources that relates to anything dealing with your senior year as it relates to college and career readiness. So without further ado, I want to thank everyone, y'all. I want to thank everyone here. I want to congratulate you ahead of time because you are guys are seniors, and this is going to be a very exciting school year. Thank you, Ms. Thompson. Thank you, Ms. Dalridge. Now we have Ms. Patterson. My unmuted. Yep. Hi. Hello, class of 2022. I know you've heard from me since January. But this is another opportunity for me to put out some information, very important information for you to move forward with the college readiness, college career readiness process this um, summer. So I am available during the summer, basically from 7 to 2.30. You can contact me by email, um, telephone, or you can even schedule a Zoom invite. And I'll be happy to meet with you and your parents. Next slide, Ms. Thompson. Okay, so during the summer, we're gonna have some college and career conversations um, every Monday through the summer. Um, if I'm not in the um, college career conversation, you will have another CCIC um, in the college career conversation. This takes place Mondays from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. And you can find more information in your Naviance account. And this session is for questions, answers, if you need support with college applications, next steps, um, essay writing, anything we can support you with with the college career process, we will be available in the college career conversations on Mondays. We are interested in your interests. Um, counseling Service put this bit together. If you haven't completed this, I've been in a couple of classes throughout the weeks. Um, if you haven't um, completed this bit, if you would please complete it. Um, this will allow me 
to send you information according to your interests. Everyone will receive information in their Naviance accounts, but I can narrow your interests down if you um, complete this bit for me. So if you can complete this at your convenience, if you check in Naviance account, it should be available in your Naviance account too. This is for all juniors to complete. Thank you. Next slide, Ms. Thompson. All right, so Mr. Ulrich mentioned brag sheets. Ladies and gentlemen, the first deadline for your brag sheet was June 3rd. Deadlines are very, very important this school year. Um, if you could please play catch up with your brag sheets and submit them as soon as possible. They're located in your Naviance account. And if you have any issues logging into Naviance, I'm just the email away. You can um, email me to reset your Naviance password, or you can do the new single sign on through your Google Classroom. Email me if you need any support locating the brag sheet or signing into Naviance. Get your brag sheets done as soon as possible. It's a plus if you have that brag sheet completed before you meet with your counselor this summer, your counselor and your parents. All right, next slide, Ms. Thompson. All right, so scholarships. Um, you may have received many, many emails in reference to registering for the $40,000 $40, scholarship from College Board. The deadline is June 30th. We have had winners um, in the class of 2020 from Montgomery County Public Schools. And I would love to see that um, one of my one or two or three or four of my students had the opportunity to win the $40,000 scholarship from College Board. Please um, visit your Naviance accounts and register for the scholarship today. Next slide, Ms. Thompson. All right. So what's, what should juniors be doing now? All right, I've sent this email out a couple of times. If you haven't started or if you need to know what you should be doing as a junior slash senior now to move forward with the college career readiness process, um, you can take a picture of this slide. Definitely, if you're interested in your SATs, start registering for your SATs. Um, on Monday, June 28th, we have a SAT ACT free strategy information session. Check your Naviance account so you can register. You're going to start your college search. Please complete your brag sheets, draft your essays, and confirm your college list. Um, you can do research with your majors and careers in Naviance. If you have student, student service hours to complete, it would be great to complete them over the summer to get them off your to-do list. Stay involved with your activities, clubs, sports, and your Naviance. If you need to do career searches, college search, whatever you need as far as Naviance and you're not certain how to do it, I am available to help you. Join the career college career conversations on Mondays. Attend college fairs, um, whether it's virtual or on campus. And please, please register for the um, free college career summer workshops. So those are some things that juniors, um, junior slash seniors, can be could be doing right now to move forward with the college and career readiness process. Next slide, Ms. Thompson. All right, here are some links. Um, the first link is uh, the Bitly, where we want to know your interests. The next one is the summer workshops, and um, I opened a new. Um, college career Google Classroom. We, I just want you to be mindful if you do join that last link, you will get many, many emails in reference to college and career. Everything I could think of, I'm going to put in that Google Classroom. Anything that comes to my email, straight to that Google Classroom. And Ms. Thompson, thank you for the opportunity to speak to the one year, wonderful rising seniors. All right, thank you, Ms. Patterson. So let's take a look at our next slide. Hey, there are some things that are very exciting that will be happening. First of all, your senior portraits, 
Okay, and there's a picture of Miss Glass. She's in charge of your yearbooks. The next thing is the senior packages, which will include your cap and gown, and, and of course, they'll have dues and your announcements and things of that nature. And then we also, we have to look forward to our SSL hours and athletics. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna first go ahead and start off with the people that are in the room right now, and that's Miss um, Shapiro, and then Mr. Fair will talk about those two things. So first, Ms. Shapiro, you wanna talk a little bit about the SSL hours? Hi, everyone. Um, thank you so much for joining us today. So just real quick, and I'm sure you guys already know about this, but you are required to have 75 hours for graduation. Um, I think many of you have already reached that. So now your goal should be the 260 so that you get your purple tassel at graduation. Um, we will have lots of opportunities during the year um, for earning SSL, but in addition to that, you have all summer. And during the summer is a great time to earn those hours or to exceed the hours. Um, any nonprofit organization okay. is a good place for you to earn hours. Um, we are also looking. We are also looking for some volunteers to come in um, during summer for our summer school program to help guide students. Um, and if you're interested in doing that, please reach out to me but I'll also post that on our SSL Canvas page. Um, so thank you guys and reach out to me or email me your SSL forms if you still have any. And I look forward to seeing you in person next year. Okay, thank you, Ms. Shapiro. And it's really, really important what you said for that purple tassel. I saw so many students in the class of 2021 getting that ta purple tassel. And I wanna see the same thing for the class of 2022. And again, those SSL hours can add to Okay, um, actually college scholarships. My son was able to get a college scholarship because he did have that pur uh, purple tassel at Salisbury, just let you know. So make sure you get as many SSL hours as you can. Okay, Mr. Um, Mr. Fair. Hi everyone, welcome. Uh, congratulations on making it all the way to your senior year. And I promise you it'll be a different kind of year than this one you just had. Um, sports are, looking like we're going to get back into a what would have been a normal kind of a sports year um, fall sports are ready to start on august 11th um, for those of you who do participate in sports historically in the past um, just make that sure you got a note on of that date start date for fall sports on your calendars tell your families um, so that you don't plan vacations or time away or jobs or anything like that so you can be here to come in and finish it right um, as well, the registration is all done on Parent View, and you can look at our website for the athletic department for information about that. Registration for fall sports is going to open on July 12th. Um, we're definitely looking forward to. I know. I know we, we had um, a lot of students, about 250, that participated in some of our fall or spring sports this year in person. Um, we had a lot of students that did virtual sports. Those are all things that we enjoyed, but we're looking forward to really getting back to a more normal athletic program next fall. Um, and really, I'm here to answer any questions or to help you along the way. One thing about your physicals, you are going to need to get an updated athletic physical by your doctor. Um, I recommend just do it over the summer, then you're finished for the whole year. And if you haven't not participated in sports, but you've always thought about it, there's no better time than this year to say, hey, let me come out and join a team and show you all, show, show everyone what I can do. Um, definitely would love to have you out there. And um, it's an opportunity for you to build some new relationships, maybe if you didn't already uh, have those in place. If you are interested in participating in sports in college, we need to get that ball rolling. We need to get that process moving. Please make sure you reach out to me and your counselor so that we can start having the conversations about what work you need to do in order to make that a reality. If you have any interest at all, anybody who wants to have an opportunity to play college sports uh, can have that opportunity. There is a spot somewhere that would fit you. So please make sure you're reaching out to me um, and let me know how I can support you with that. But really, I want to just say congratulations and I hope you have a great summer and we look forward to seeing you out um, in the beginning of August. Okay, thank you, Mr. Fair. I really appreciate it. Remember, circle 
Okay, that date, July 12th, 2021. That's when you start to register. And we, let's not be okay procrastinating. We need those um, accounts in right away so we can hire all of our coaches so they can help you out for each one of those. Okay, another thing that, I, um, that just came out today was the um, link for your um, portraits. Okay, so you go ahead and you can click on this and sign up for your portraits for each one of those. Okay. And another thing that I wanted to show you is a little bit about Herf Jones is your school's official class ring provider. We have multiple collections to capture every style, and class rings tell your story. The best part is we can capture your story within your budget. Everyone has a story. Everyone has a style. What's yours? Let me go ahead. I'd like to also um, share my screen. Let uh, Naomi, okay, you want to go ahead and um, your class president, are you ready to share? Yeah. One sec. Uh, let me turn on my camera. You guys are so lucky to have Naomi as your class president. <laughs> Thank you. Um, okay, so I'm just going to do a quick breakdown of what we've done this year and some plans that we have for next year. So before I start, I'm going to shout out um, all the class officers from this year. Uh, Violet served as the vice president. Sammy served as treasurer. Um, Sydney was our secretary. Taloni and Faintly were our student outreach directors. Mara was the spirit commissioner and Anderson was the event coordinator. Um, also, Ms. Guest was our class sponsor and like a huge shout out to Ms. Thompson and Ms. Katz for helping us all year round um, to plan everything we've done this year. Okay, so, sorry. 
Uh, this year, we introduced three new positions to the class council, a spirit commissioner, student outreach directors, and spirit and event coordinators, excuse me. Um, we also held a really successful food drive to give back to the community um, over this past winter. We held a Chipotle fundraiser. Um, we also held an Instagram takeover um, so everyone could ask us questions or, and get to know all of their officers. Um, we also introduced spirit points to increase participation, um, organized and executed a mass fundraiser, um, which is still going on. You guys can get yours. The link is in our Instagram bio. Um, we've sold over 100 now, so uh, make sure you go get them before they run out. Um, we also held a class bonding game night, an Instagram giveaway, um, and a class wear design competition, which we're selling the sweatshirts for now and organize an NEC Spirit Week with the SGA, which Springbrook won. Um, okay, so I've spoken to a lot of you guys about what you wanna see happen next year. Um, so here are a few things that I heard um, most often and some ideas that we were able to come up with. So to start off next year, we were thinking about doing a senior sunrise um, and um, creating a prom committee to delegate work for prom and to allow everyone to share their ideas. Um, if it's safe, we were also thinking of doing a class trip somewhere. I know a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys wanted to go to like an, a theme park or something. So um, we'll work on that. Um, we're also planning the second annual NEC Spirit Week. The first one was this year um, and it was really successful. A lot of you guys participated in that. Um, we're going to continue with the mass fundraiser and the sweatshirt fundraiser until we sell everything out. Um, we're going to organize more events with Blake and Paint Branch as well as holding um, restaurant fundraisers because a lot of you guys said that you wanted more of those. Um, we're also going to have more class game nights and other senior activities as well as community outreach events. So if you guys have anything you want us to do next year, you have any ideas, please reach out to us at Springbrook, I mean, SBHS underscore underscore 2022. Um, so before I stop talking, I am going to announce the two winners for the Spirit Point competition this year. Um, there were, there was a tie this year. So we're gonna have two people winning a $20 gift card. Um, and they are Linda Liu and Janai Brown. So congratulations guys. You can get your gift cards soon. Um, so thank you for listening, everyone. Um, I look forward to serving you guys again next year with Violet, Miana, Sydney, Bethel, and Teluni. Um, that's it. Thank you so much, Naomi. Thank you. Great. All right, guys. So um, I want to go ahead and, and just say a few minutes. We all want to say thank you to Miss Guest. She's moving on to... Um, her hometown, Chicago. Um, she will miss us all. Can we just give you a few minutes, Ms. Guest, you wanna share? Goodbye. Yeah, I'll keep it short, um, but just wanted to say thank you to Ms. Thompson. Uh, you've been an amazing leader and the seniors are in great hands for their last year, especially coming back in the building. I'm bummed that I won't be able to, to see y'all in your last year. It's gonna be awesome. Uh, the class board that you have serving you is going to take care of you and make sure that there are lots of fun activities for your last year so that you can get to know people again, get to know new people, and just have a really good time. Um, <laughs> see all the things in the chat, Miss. Yes, they're all going to miss you. We all going to miss you. Thank yeah. you so much for all you did for our, our class. They are they are very very lucky to have you their junior year. So um, I. And like I said, you have plenty of opportunities. I wanna thank you all for joining today. Um, if you know some of your classmates that were not able to join, this has been recorded and we'll be posted on the website. You guys have a great, dear, uh, um, great day, a wonderful summer, and I can't wait to see you all in person come this fall. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Thank you. Happy summer. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Uh, Bye. Thank you. Have, have a nice a summer. summer. Bye. Bye. Thank you.
Great meeting, folks. <laughs> Thank, thank you all. I think it, I, I was, so, I mean, we, there was up to 120. I'm sorry. I was really excited that they all came on the last day. So thank you all so much. And I really appreciate your support, all of you. No problem. Take care. Okay. You guys enjoy. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks, Ms. Thompson. I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. See you tomorrow.